name is Michael Michael Lee. Uh, I work in a tech company that is uh, looking into the uh, social network for people and um, my team does the work of uh, leveraging the big data that my company has and uh, derive value from it and uh, drive business impact using the data that we have. I was working on big data even before this term was invented. My graduate studies were about uh, creating 3D climate models uh, to simulate the atmospheric, chemical, and the physical processes, and then try to do prediction using the, um, the climate model. Back then, I was working with a tremendous amount of data, and then we had to use the fastest computers in the world running in parallel to solve the, uh, the model. But we didn't have a term called big data, although that data probably is bigger than a lot of the data we're dealing with today. I think big data is invented as a more of a marketing concept that uh, it was really successful in terms of getting people's attention and what people can do for human beings. It's unclear what the exact definition is. So right now what I'm working on is actually trying to define what big data is and how it actually we can create values for either businesses or people through the leverage of big data. So that's my view of big data. It's a, it's a term that everyone can understand easily but in the meantime, nobody really knows what it means. So someone need to get in there and really uh, derive the value from it. More and more of our daily activities become data nowadays. You started to have the variable devices that started to uh, record a lot of data that wasn't available in, in history. Right Now we have a lot more data points that we can use to study human behaviors and try to serve ourselves better and also try to uh, predict how certain things would happen. More and more companies, they are purely relying on data to be, uh, to be a business, right? So uh, the company that I'm working for essentially is the example that without data, we're nothing. So everything that we do is based on data um, and then based on the value that we can derive from the data. The amount uh, of data scientists or analysts are gonna continue to grow in the next uh, four to five years. But then the supply, we're not seeing a trend that is picking up yet. So uh, we're only going to see bigger and bigger gap in terms of the uh, demand for talent versus the supply of candidates that we, we have. For a typical tech company in the Silicon Valley, and if you're graduating from a master degree program, and then um, you are given an offer, usually that's around the range of 100K or so. I mean, it could be a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, but then, you know, that's almost become like the sort of like, you know, average. Like as far as I know, right? I, I don't know, that this is probably more of a question for HR than to me. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised that uh, a new graduate from a master program nowadays is getting paid more than 100K. And it, it starts to happen more often.